So the Westchester YMCA, in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, connected with the Red Cross of Greater Los Angeles to, to let them know that they can use any of our locations as frequently as they'd like in order to collect blood. Since the coronavirus shut down, we've had so many drives uh, uh, canceled on us because we're usually at high schools or places of business. In April, we're doing it every Thursday, and in May, we're doing it every Wednesday. My wife and I came this morning, we live in the neighborhood, and we are donating blood because we think this is a vital thing to do in this time of COVID. We're making sure that everyone's temperature is being checked before they enter the door. My temperature was taken a second time as I was interviewed. And they put us in chairs that were six feet apart while we were waiting. It's pretty uh, limited in how many people are in there. The cots are spaced apart uh, greater than six feet. And 95 masks. Everyone has gloves on. Wiping down all our stations after every donor. I felt really safe and I came out of here feeling like I did a good thing, but I didn't put myself in huge harm's way. Honestly, I think they're doing everything that they could and I don't believe that there's a chance that you could get the virus in these circumstances. We're used to people being afraid to come because of the needles, but the virus is adding a little, another layer to that. So yes, we understand that you're being anxious, but please understand that we're professionals and we know how to do it right. The response has been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, each of the scheduled events thus far have been full. We've had uh, over 100 people uh, donate blood over the past two events. I feel like I want to help with this pandemic. I feel kind of helpless right now, and it's the thing I can think to do that can make a difference. I can't really do much in my own field, so this is one way to help out other people. It makes me feel personally good. It's just so heartwarming that two of the world's oldest nonprofit organizations are able to come together and serve our community needs during this time of crisis.